Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Waldron and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Eddard's new um, Vietnam scooter 140 ape scale. Um, as you can see, box art looks, looks fantastic. We turn this around, look at the box art a bit more um, and we've got loads and loads of markings in this one. Um, we've got bits of photo etch and resin going on here as well as some fantastic decals from um, Cartographer. So open this up and taking a look inside. Now, the thing is, this isn't a new tool from um, Eddard. This is actually a rebox. Um, and the rebox is this kit in here is actually Hazagewi, right? And what Eddard's done is they've reboxed it, decals, photo etch, resin, nice new instructions, a load of cool stuff. Right, so first off, I mean, the instructions are the fantastic high standards that um, Eddard's, uh, Eddard is bringing out, which is all these really cool instructions. It's good quality, satin paper. We've got all different colours here to say where to, um, you know, glue this, glue that. Um, really are fantastic instructions. Um, with this, I mean, we are going to get loads of sort of photo etch, so we can really sort of jazz up the cockpit and everything. Um, as for options, I mean, you've got the usual landing gear up and down. You can have flaps and slats moved here, there and everywhere, air brakes. Um, you know, there is, a, there is a few options that we can do with this, uh, the arrestor hook and everything. Um, fuel tanks uh, sadly oh you do get a ladder with this as well which is a nice touch sadly no weapons um, I know Hazagoi they don't put hardly any weapons if any in their kits and it looks like this has kind of rolled over into Eddard it would have been nice if they put some of their um, new resin weapons in there but um, they haven't but it would have been really nice if they did and then we've got this fantastic set of markings um, you know really good nice sort of write up about those individual aircrafts and their markings and there are an absolute load we can do there uh, so fantastic instructions there which then brings us to our decals um, they are they are printed by cartographers so we know they're one of the best in the world gonna have no problems micro Sol and set are gonna work lovely with these as you can see, very nice, colourful, everything's in registry. You can read, you know, the small writing and everything. And there is just loads and loads of decals for this because there's so many different markings and everything. So don't worry about having to put all these decals on. It is, you know, for the like, I think like seven markings are on here or something. So fantastic deco decals going on there. Moving along to the kit itself. Um, first off, we'll bring in um, <clears throat> the top of the wing sections. Now, this is has a go, so we know it's going to go together um, really, really well. Um, and as you can see, you know, we've got that lovely surface detail that you get from Hazagoi. It is very crisp, very smart, nicely in detailed. Um, we've got rivet detail going on there, recessed panel lines detail going on there as well. Um, and as you can see, well, there is also a few problems, same kind of problems that you get from as ago, which is we've got the bottoms of our air brakes here. And there's about, what, three... Um, um, ejector pin marks that you're going to want to probably be sanding out just there um, also on our uh, wheel well door um, the front landing gear part I do believe there's uh, two ejector pin marks in there as well and and that is pretty much the same throughout this kit ejector pin marks in the usual places you don't want them to be um, then we move to our main kind of sprue here which is with our uh, fuselage section um, the plastic you know nice gray plastic it's very nice and smooth there's no rough edges or anything like that um, you will sort of notice i mean the recessed panel lines are nicely in scale they're really really good but then there's just places here and there where you just have a little bit of a feel get you try and get your nail in there and there's just the odd little place where I do feel it's going to need 
a little bit more of a re-scribe just to kind of make them a little bit deeper make them a bit more pronounced so that you can get that wash in there at the end um, but it's not too bad but um, you know it's not what I expected from Hazagari actually but then again this was kit was new tooled in uh, the year 2000 um, looking at um, inside here we've got our air brakes which do look very well detailed but again you know you've got that little bit of a ejector pin mark inside here and there um, but they do look rather well detailed and then just kind of going through the rest of the parts um, we've got our cockpit tub here let's bring you in on this hopefully as you can see um, we do have um, quite a lot of um, pretty cool detail now trying to get your focus sorry zoom me out a little bit um, hopefully you can see a lot of nice raised detail there of buttons and stuff looking rather cool I do really like their um, instrument display panel hopefully you can see there there's a lot of detail going on there um, which will look really cool when painted up but then you do get photo etch um, but then again some people do like to kind of you know if you've got a good out of the box sort of um, molding going on there for the instrument spray plant is kind of nicer to paint it up in some some cases um, we've got our air intake here which is all nice and smooth inside here no ejector pin marks really really good um, you do get a ladder with this kit as you can see just there um, landing gear is looking very smart very crisp um, a little bit of flash in one or two minor places but really it's pretty much flash free um, again landing gear you know in the odd little place we do have the odd little ejector pin mark that you might be wanting to um, get rid of there um, but as you can see you know pretty good detail nevertheless um, our ejector seat which we haven't got to worry about with this kit because we do get a resin ejector seat that I'll show you later uh, moving along we have two sprues here that are the same let's put that out of the way and um, this is where we've got our fuel tank we've got um, some pylons so we've got the pylons at least to put the weapons that we don't have with this kit on here um, so it is one of these kits where uh, which by the way costs 50 pounds it would be a kit that you'd probably want to go out and buy aftermarket um, weapons or use whatever you've got in your stash um, the fuel tanks are um, surprisingly kind of different from the rest of the kit. I don't know how well you could pick this up on camera, but we do have two recessed panel lines here which are very faint. They will need rescribing, and the surface does feel a little bit ripply and um, a little bit scratched, and you know, even slight little sink marks. I don't know if you can see them, a little sink mark. Um, they do seem as though they're you know, not the best of moulding, but um, they should be should be okay, because let's face it, fuel tanks normally do get pretty riffy. Um, we've got the bottom part of our wing section here, which um, inside our wheel wells here does look rather fancy in there. Actually, rather good for out of the box. Really cool, crisp um, recessed panel lines and recessed rivet detail going on there. Um, it is mainly the um, fuselage section where the recess rivets do seem to um, fade a little bit in the odd little place there. Um, but as you can see, it looks pretty cool. Um, next as well, we've got our um, canopy section, which is you know what you expect from Hazagiri, looking very shiny, crystal clear. We've got no cobweb effects or anything like that, or any cracks or any problems they're all looking good um, so coming to the aftermarket parts put that away let's bring these out aftermarket parts you get with this kit you do get let's open this up you do get a resin seat um, which you know isn't too bad is better than what you get in the in the uh, as stock in the kit um, and it just goes together pretty much like that pretty kind of easy um, yeah again not bad detail going on there um, then you get you know what Eddard puts in absolutely all their kits pretty much these days is <coughs> um, a nice bit of photo etch which is all pre-painted and everything we've got instrument display panels and and um, all sorts of I think you've got um, the chaff and flares sort of dispensers there you've got 
um, seat belts going on there um, there's also lots of little bits that sort of go on the landing gear and bits here bits there um, nice little um, added extra there as well as um, you do get their masking um, canopy mask which I do believe do the wheels and a few other little bits and bobs here I won't get that out and show you because it's all yellow and you, you can't really pick it up on camera so all in all we've got a kit here which okay is 50 pounds it's not a bad price for what is a Hazagawi kit at the end of the day you've got um, Eddard throwing in you know your resin your photo etch those fantastic decals fantastic instructions uh, I mean you know where can you go wrong um, the only niggle about this kit is as usual with Hazagawi they've not put any weapons and it's a shame that Eddar didn't come along and you know rebox it with some aftermarket um, uh, weapons or something but you know at the end of the day it's still going to be a fantastic kit should go together really nice um, yeah, definitely well recommended and I hope you've enjoyed this inbox review. So until next time, my name is Bobby Waldron, this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed.